Hello and welcome to Trending everyone. We're live in the studio today and we have a great show prepared for you. Later in the show we will be joined in the studio by, oh, by Helena and Lola Puff. Though before we introduce our first guest, if you want to get involved and have your say in the show, please use hashtag trending and get sent in through Snapchats and tweets in. Without further ado, let's welcome our guests. The fashion blogger that everyone's talking about, Helena. <laughs> Hello Hi. there lovely, how are hey. you? <laughs> and the Brit Award winner, Lola Puff. Hello there, lovely. Hello. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Hashtag Trending, Helena and Lollipop. Hiya. Thank you, guys. It's a pleasure to have you on our show. Here at Hashtag Trending, we received lots of tweets from your followers when we announced you were both appearing on the show. So, Helena, tell us what the last few months have been like for you. Oh, they've been just amazing, overwhelming. All of my fans and followers have been so supportive and amazing. So, indeed, indeed. yeah, it's just been overwhelming. I and think. And we've heard that you've got eight million followers. Eight million followers. Indeed. I sent you in a video actually of my phone blowing up this morning. Indeed, so. indeed. Oh yeah, there and it is. There it there is. There it yeah. is. Eight million oh, wow. followers. It's wow. insane. We, you must just know. Him a cup of tea <laughs> the child it's in just the gone crazy. The entire phone. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure so, you hear that feel. <laughs> now onto Lala Pop, the Brit Award winner. <laughs> the Brit Award winner. Talking about Twitter, you were number one trending in the UK. How did that feel? Um, it felt surreal. It felt, I don't know. It was like winning the Brit Awards all over again. <laughs> <laughs> it was emotional. Wow. <laughs> well, I can say on behalf of us here at Hashtag Trending and the entire nation, well deserved. So talking about trending on Twitter, we'll take a look at this week's this week's tweets. So if we bring the tweets up on the screen, there's tweets about the Oscars, about the Brits, about Emma Watson. Everyone's oh yeah. tweeting about the Oscars. Um, Everyone's from tweeting. From the Kim Kardashian. Oh, Ed Sheeran. Um, Ed Sheeran and Stormzy, they were on the Oscar, they were on the Brits, sorry. Um, and if we scroll further down, it should. There it is. Oh no, that's There's terrible. The oh gosh. There's the mistake that they made for that's the best word. picture at Long the Oscars. Oh, that was Let's so take embarrassing. a look. Let's take a look at this. And the Academy Award. <laughs> for best picture. You're impossible. Come on. La La Land. Yeah! Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. Moonlight won. Come on, I, this is not a joke. Come this on. is not a joke. I'm afraid they read the wrong thing. This is not a joke. Moonlight has won Best Picture. Both Moonlight, Best Picture. Oh, that's so sad. And we'll see that happening mm. there. That happened there. Well, that, that was quite something. Imagine if that happened to you in some fashion show awards somewhere in the world, Helena. How would you react if you were in the position of La La Land? I would be super embarrassed. I'd be mortified. But then all press is good press. Indeed it is. Indeed. <laughs> so we're going to go to the Oscars now and we're going to look at the best dresses, four of the best dresses that were nominated in the Oscars. Ooh. So guys, give us your, your opinions. What do you think? They all look really nice. I think they're flamboyant. They bring out every different person's personality, character. Oh, look at you, Mr. Fashion <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I really like the classic cut of the one, the dark blue one. I think that's really nice. Is that Eva Longer? Long what? Eva Longer. That's to Raji P. Henson. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Is it really? What? Are you sure? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, which one's your favorite? Well, Viola Davis. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, anyway, Viola Davis' dress is really nice. That is enough of Having a look at the four best dresses. <laughs> now we're going to look at four <laughs> oh of the worst no. dresses that the oh Oscars my had. Eyes. Oh, Here they my are. eyes. A bit revealing Ooh. for the yellow dress. Oh, a yellow? little revealing. A little on the revealing. Yellow but yeah. A little. Orange. They had to censor it. Who is it, though? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. The, the one on the left is not that bad. It looks cut up with scissors, but 
you know. Yeah, it's, it's not that Bradley bad, White is it? One it's of like the worst dresses at the Oscars awards. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Well, I think it's better than the other one, anyway. Yeah. So. It is. So, as we can see from the eight pictures, one thing we, that we can see is that every year we get to see so many different dresses from so many diverse designers, and that's because we keep the trends changing. Um, so, what do you predict will be trending this year? God. I think really classic cuts. Like we've got the mum jean, and we've got the turtlenecks. I think it's going to be really classic all the way back again. So like stuff from the 60s, the 70s, Indeed. and then also further back from like the 20s, 30s. Indeed. And how about you, Lollipop? I just wear what I'm told. I <laughs> she's got a stylist. She doesn't know what she's what talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, I don't. That's great. <laughs> we shall see if your predictions are right. So we sent oh our God. reporter out into the streets to find out what people think the current trends will be this year. Oh, great. Let's take a look at this. Yeah. Can you tell us three fashion trends that are going to be still in fashion next year? Um, brown lips, leopard and chrome. That's a tough one. Trainers. Uh, lots of people wear trainers like Adidas. Um, well, it's puffer jackets people like to wear. Uh, stripes, everyone has stripey tops. <laughs> um, jeans, a leather jacket, and then maybe a hoodie they can put on top, really easy to put on. Like skinny jeans, you know, uh, Chelsea boots. Uh, yeah, and you know, having a very nice haircut, like looking all good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's going to be out, do you think, not in fashion? I think scarves. I don't like them, no one likes them. What a <laughs> That's a tough one. I think flare jeans, maybe. Yes, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm going to show you a picture. Okay. See if you would wear this coat. Hell no. <laughs> so long. I really don't think I would. It's a tough one. Uh, yeah, that looks nice. I like to wear it. But, but uh, nah, I, I don't think I'd wear the coat. The end. He got one. <laughs> he did, he did. Yeah. I don't yeah. know, <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't great. It what? wasn't great. What did you guys think about their opinions on what trends will be trending this year? My followers are always so, like, I don't know, knowledgeable about fashion and stuff, so it really threw me off that <laughs> <laughs> no one knew what was going on. Sneakers. I am wearing sneakers, Indeed. but they're not really in fashion. I don't know. I'm wearing Chelsea well, I mean, boots, which possible. someone brought up. As you can yeah. see. Yeah. I don't like Chelsea boots, then. Are they Chelsea boots? <laughs> Indeed they I are. think they look quite they smart. Are. But do you agree with their tr no. Their fashions. One of them said flare jeans. I'm not a fashion person, Indeed. but that that's <laughs> incorrect. I yeah, actually have a really nice pair of vintage flare jeans. I'm gonna say that right now. If they're nicely shaped at the waist, they look nice. Indeed. But they'll be if they're all at loose. the bottom, that's and never then nice. <laughs> And what did you just think about the guy who said Adidas trainers? Uh, I wouldn't say they're in fashion. You're not really gonna see them on the catwalk. Unless oh. it's an Adidas catwalk. Indeed. In which case you would. <laughs> I think it just always depends on the look Adidas. you're going for. Exactly. It? Exactly, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for your opinions. <laughs> We're going to take a short break now. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to Hashtag Trending. In the first half, we have been talking to Helena and Lollipop about the current fr fashion trends. But, let's, but now, let's get gossip about the Brit Awards. So tell us, Lollipop, the Brit Awards, how does it feel to become the best Brit newcomer? Um, it feels amazing. Like It just feels like everything I've worked for um, got recognized that night and uh, had a few drinks, don't remember my speech, <laughs> but I th I'm sure I thanked everyone I needed I to. Oh, was it bad? Oh <laughs> gosh, don't tell me. How do, you, how do your family feel about it? 
Um, I mean, my mum always said, if I'm going to pursue a singing career, make sure I have books because I might fail. So this one's for you, <laughs> mum. I didn't <laughs> fail. There you go. <laughs> Here at Hashtag Trending, we want to know, why do you get your, ins where do you get your inspiration from, mu from your music? How was, how was the inspiration for you? How was it, how did the inspiration come along for your new song? Oh, um, whenever I write, music i tend to use my experience which i think everyone does but not like a taylor swift kind of thing it's not all about <laughs> men you know uh I, I just write about either past pain or past joy um put it down in poem form and then it just comes up in song and, and it just comes up. yeah Brilliant. just record them we all saw the brit awards and it was amazing there were some yeah. great moments in the show mm -hmm. tell us what was your great moment of the show overall um it has to be ed sheeran and stormzy that I was agree. just Indeed. right. Totally, that was yeah. Totally. That's we saw that as we were scrolling through mind. our tweets. Mm. Because I just thought, oh yeah, Ed Sheeran shaping. Yeah, you know? and the story exactly just comes up. Yeah, so from the waist, I'm like, oh. Okay. It was a surprise for all yeah. the audience, wouldn't you say? It was a yeah, it was a surprise for everybody. I mean, Indeed. I remember people pushing in the crowd. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh! I just stood up. I was like, yeah. I was there at home, being like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there at home. I have to agree. The reaction it was incredible. Let's relive this moment by taking a Ooh. look at this performance. Fun. I found it quite more. amazing how no one in that audience knew that he was bringing Stormzy out. Because mm, they're two out. different genres, yeah. And then two different genres of music mm. all together. And then Stormzy comes out, the audience go wild. Yep. So Lollipop, tell us more about your upcoming music and what are your plans for the next oh few gosh. months in I the I mean, I industry. wish I could say vacay. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, since winning, I think, I just need to put in more work, make yeah. the next album better, yeah. harder. What's the next album going to be about? Oh God, do I don't know. know. <laughs> Let me breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I've been asked this question over and over again yeah. and I have no idea. Oh um, it's what just was something you work with your called? producers See? on. I just, I don't <laughs> is it just something you work with your producers on and your directors? Yeah, 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 pretty much. The producers will handle everything. Indeed. I'm just the voice. Do a collab <laughs> with uh, Ed Sheeran. Sexy I've Ed Sheeran. I've been calling. No, you, should, you should do a collab with Ed Sheeran. I, I would do a collab with Ed Sheeran. I'd do a collab with Ed Sheeran. Sheeran. He's Indeed. gorgeous for a ginger. <laughs> what? <laughs> what were your views on the performance itself? Um, the as in Ed Sheeran's Indeed. or everybody's? Um, it was just, I think it was inspirational because Ed Sheeran is more, I don't want to say pop, but he's very yes. mainstream. Yes. Mm. And Stormzy's a grand artist yes. and he's come from the underworld of yes. music where it's a niche market. So to have him on the Brit Awards stage with Ed Sheeran singing a major number one hit that he's had is amazing. I think it, it just puts us yeah. on the map. Well, I say us, I'm not a grandma artist, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to some of the music. So now I have a fun question for you. I'll give you three celebrities' name and you are to decide which one you will marry, affair, oh. or kill. Affair. Oh, a fair goodness. So, <laughs> <laughs> the three okay. celebrities' names are Channing Tatum, okay, Brad Pitt, Ooh, okay, and Ryan Gosling. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'd marry Channing, affair with Ryan, and kill the last one. I can't remember who he is. Kill Brad Pitt. Yeah, sorry. I don't know. I think <laughs> I might. I think I might have to. Ah, oh, no, I definitely marry Channing Tatum. Mm, Ch Channing Tatum, because <laughs> he's gorgeous. What were the options again? <laughs> oh, I forgot. Brad Pitt. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> I'll Brad kill Brad Pitt. Pitt and Ryan Gosling. No thanks. Right? Then, yeah, I'll have an affair with Ryan Why Gosling. Why would you both kill Brad Pitt? 
because no one wants him. Yeah. Yeah. No one, Sorry. <laughs> After Angelina, you just you can go Do now. The way he's treated to her, a, overrated. He's just no. He's not overrated. He's just like eh. You're there he's now. He's alright. Yeah. He's a good actor, but wouldn't marry yeah. him or a fair. Nah. <laughs> not worth the hassle. Indeed. <laughs> and so, so, what would you describe as your favourite, your favourite kind of guy? Cool. Mm. You're Obviously fashionable. Oh gosh, he has to be funny. Yeah, he, he can make me laugh. That's that's Charming. good enough for me. Yeah, yeah. Likes to have a nice time, like a fun time. Isn't all about yeah. like how yeah. everything looks and yeah. trying to be all showy. Yeah, definitely. Not high maintenance. Yeah, as in I'm not high maintenance. Mm. So I don't really. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I think that most girls aren't. I think I'm that's gonna just have to like. Cut you off there, so that's all we have time for today. <laughs> Don't forget to keep tweeting, sharing and commenting on our pages. Thank you for tuning in. See you back here next week. Bye.